Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a hot oil scalp massage. I'm gonna use this oil burner that I got from Clicks along with a candle to heat up the oil and then I'm gonna use this dripper just to get the oil nicely in between my scalp. So I'm using Jamaican black castor oil, avocado oil, tea tree oil, peppermint oil and lavender oil. These last three are essential oils. So I'm adding about a tablespoon full of Jamaican black castor oil, a tablespoon full of avocado oil, and then I want to add a drop of each essential oil. One drop of tea tree oil, one drop of peppermint, and one drop of lavender oil. Okay, it, it's much. There's actually more than it looks. It's not as little. See, I'm just lighting the candle, and then I'm gonna put it in my oil burner so that it can just get nice and warm. Okay guys, if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. So my hair is nicely parted, so do an oil scalp massage when your hair is braided. It's just an easy access to your scalp. So my oil is heated, I'm going to take my dripper and just take some of this oil. Sorry, I'm eating. And then, yeah, it's just going to go through my hair. Because the oil is hot, it really like runs down my scalp and through my parting. It really feels super nice. Because the oil is warm, it's also much runnier and lighter. So it literally like goes everywhere over my scalp. And don't forget about your edges guys, it's very important. <laughs> Okay, so I just took the last bit and now I'm just gonna like give myself like a mini scalp massage. I did this for about 10 minutes, just rubbing my hands through my scalp and letting the oil absorb into my head. After I did that, I also went in with a pick just to like stimulate my scalp, let my scalp like pretty much be bothered. So yeah, this felt like so amazing. Okay, so I've been getting questions about how I sleep at night. So yeah, I just put my ear to the back like this and I, I off it and I cross it over and then I pull it to the front you'll see I take the ends and pull it to the front and that's where I would tie my hair because you don't necessarily lay on the front of your face so that way I can lay on the sides or the back and I'll just be comfortable and then I kind of just put my bonnet over that. Remember to give the video a thumbs up so I can just know that you like it and I can make more of this. Thank you for watching.